ask most people about diabetes testing, and the classic finger prick glucose test likely comes to mind. But getting an accurate picture of your blood sugar may take a deeper probe. An A1C test, which is a good indicator of what your average blood sugar has been doing over the last couple of months. The A1C doesn't see blood sugar spikes after meals or snacks. It measures your glucose over time. The lifespan of a red blood cell is 120 days. By dissecting its memory, doctors get an average read on your blood sugar for the past three months. It's a calculation based on how much glucose has been attached to those red blood cells. The criteria for the A1C for prediabetes is 5.7 to 6.4 percent and then greater than 6.4 or 6.5 is diagnosis criteria for diabetes. The A1C does double duty. This average figure is used to diagnose prediabetes and diabetes. It also helps people with treatment by providing a bigger view of how well they're managing their blood sugar. I'm trying to get your AIC number down. Julie Borkowski is a borderline type 2 diabetic. She uses the A1C as a guide to get her to a better place. You know, try to avoid any sugar, very little carbohydrates because carbohydrates generate sugar. By more physicians doing those A1C tests, they are sending more consults to see the registered dietitian, the certified diabetes educator to modify the diet. The A1C is recommended twice a year for people with well-managed type 2 diabetes. This stick in time can tell you a great deal about your health. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.